So when we're reviewing polynomials, we should think of some key points. So one of the main things that we're going to do is the, the goal of polynomials is really mainly factoring. Okay, so we're mainly going to factor this. To do this, we need to use the remainder and factor theorems. And we should know the property, properties of the polynomial functions. Uh, for example, odd and even functions, okay, direction of opening or direction of progression for odd functions. Okay, if, it's, if it's a positive leading coefficient, it's sloping up and those types of properties. And then we're going to use those properties of factoring to solve polynomial equations. So one of the things that we're going to have to do is long division. So with long division, when we set up the long division, we just have to be careful in that we want to make sure that all the powers are represented. So example here, we have 4x cubed minus 2x squared plus 5. Well, we got to make sure we have a placeholder for the x term. Okay, so we put a 0 in there. That's, that's important for not just long division, but also synthetic division. So when we do this division, we're going to multiply by 4x to get our 4x cubed. We get minus 4x squared plus 4x. Okay, we subtract this, we end up with 2x squared minus 4x plus 5. So we're going to have plus 2. 2x squared minus 2x plus 2. And then our remainder works out to be negative 2. 4 minus negative 2 is going to be negative 2. 5 minus 2 is plus 3, so our remainder is negative 2x plus 3. So this is our quotient, okay, this is our divisor, our, we call this a dividend, okay, the thing that's being divided, and then we have our remainder part. Uh, we'll do the pink here, okay, so we have our remainder. To rewrite this in a division statement, we could say that we can, we can write it this way. We know that 4x plus 2 times our divisor plus the remainder equals original polynomial, 4x cubed minus 2x squared plus 0x plus 5. So it's important to be able to rewrite it in its division statement or multiplication statement. Here we're going to divide. We have all our coefficients here, so we end up with, we have, sorry, we have the coefficients for all the powers, x cubed, x1, and power 0. So we're going to divide 3x plus 2 into 3x cubed plus 2x squared minus 3x minus 2. So we're going to multiply by x squared. Okay, so when we subtract this, we get 0. Okay, in fact, we can bring down the whole next statement here. We can bring down negative 3x minus 2, and then if we multiply by negative 1, we get 3x minus 2, and then we get a remainder of 0. Okay, so what a remainder of 0 means is that it divides evenly. So these are factors. Factors give us remainders of 0. So if I were to rewrite this in its multi multiplication form, I get x squared minus 1 times 3x plus 2, that's going to equal the original polynomial. And this allows me to start factoring and allows me to then eventually solve these if they were equations. Okay, so there's our, this represents our multiplying statement that reflects that division. 
And what's important here is we went from a polynomial that that is in its plus form into the multiplying form or the factored form. And the factored form is really important and very useful to us.